Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to Life is Strange 2. In the last episode, Daniel wants to go play in the backyard of the Reynolds house. However, we're, we're having a pretty decent time just exploring the place. Claire and Stephen have quite the lovely home. I'm glad I picked these up. Gives me something to work on when they're all watching TV. Well, there's only one. And he's terribly shy. Tried one of Claire's books yesterday. It's basically a telenovela with white old women. Yeah. Feeling of love? Passion, princess? <laughs> Escape to pleasure? Man, does Claire read all these? Probably. Probably. Such a big fireplace. And not even needed. <sighs> That's luxury. I mean, it fits the room. Excuse me. <sighs> they have a kick-ass set, but they only watch boring shows and cable news. <laughs> Man, can you imagine watching a slasher out here? Deep in the woods, no one around. No way. Too scary. I'm, I'm with Daniel. That seems like tempting fate. No, thank you. I'm not down for that. You're not the only one Karen hurt. Mm. I think, here's the thing. I think from Claire's perspective, she's the one who raised Karen. She's the one who raised her. Whatever Karen's flaws and faults, they come to rest at her feet. She's probably thinking like, oh, what did I do wrong? What did I do wrong when I was raising Sweetie, her to make her do what she did? can you not put your feet on the couch? Uh, sorry. I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. In a minute. Daniel's going nuts in here. Hey, Claire? What's on your mind? Sean. What did you think of Dad? You can tell me. I won't get mad. Well, your father was... Uh, he was his own person. That's it? I mean, I know you guys didn't really get along. It's just... Esteban was very different from us. And he never took a single step to change any of that. Hmm. I mean, why was it up to him to change? Why was it up to him to change? Like... So I, I watch a lot of 90 Day Fiance. It's one of my guilty pleasures. And this is this is a trait that is very common amongst the Americans on the show. They have this idea that America is the be-all and end-all of the world. Everyone wants to go to America. If you're living in America, then you should try to become as Americanized as possible. And here's the thing, not everyone wants that. Some people are very content living in their own countries. And if they're living in America, then they don't want to become, you know, faux Americans. They want to maintain their own culture. So why, why is it on Esteban to change? Why can't he be his own person, you know, embracing his Mexican heritage? Why, why does he have to become Americanized? Did you? I wish we would have. Some bridges you can't cross. I can only live with regrets now. Don't worry. You guys taking care of us is... All he would have wanted. That's a very kind thing of you to say, Sean. Thank you. I think it speaks well of her that she says, I wish we had. You know, it's bad that they didn't. They were like, oh, he's different from us. We don't understand his culture. We don't understand his perspective. So we're, we're not even going to try to understand. We are expecting him to change and then acting shocked that he doesn't want to give up 
his culture. It was wrong of them to do that, but I do think it speaks well that in hindsight they're able to go, we were wrong for thinking that way. We were wrong for not making the effort. We wanted him to do all the work, but we should have held out our hand in friendship first. We should have shown that we were willing to forge those bonds and maybe he would have been a bit more maybe he would have reciprocated more it's sad that they didn't try but i am glad that they're saying yeah we didn't and i regret that do you know anything about dad's funeral there was a service we couldn't make it in time but we sent flowers i'm sorry sean it's okay I just want to make sure somebody took care of him. Hopefully, you can go visit him at some point. At some point? Yeah. God, if, if he was buried, then I hope he got a nice plot. If he was cremated, then I, I do hope they haven't just dumped his ashes somewhere. I hope they're being stored. How long have you and Stephen been married? Oh my. Forever. <laughs> but a good forever. Almost 40 years. Man, that's more than twice my age. You both were married during Y2K. <laughs> Thanks for making me feel even older. I assume you must have a girlfriend or... <laughs> he did. He almost did, and then she turned out to be flaky. She wasn't ride or die. Fuck, Jen. We're not thinking about her. Not really. I'm not much of a player. With all this going on, I... I don't even think about that stuff. I understand. I'm sorry, honey. It's not fair that you have to deal with all this. Things will change. I hope. Yeah, but will they change for the better, or will they change for the worse? What's the story with your neighbor? Charles? Oh, poor man used to be a basketball coach, but had to move out here after his wife's passing. He's got a job at the rail yard now, and, well, he's still recovering. Wow. I mean, that's sad. We tried to give him a hand keep an eye on his drinking problem. His son Chris is a little angel, though. I think Daniel would be a good influence on him. He's got a great role model, after all. Thanks. I'm trying my best. And that's when she says, oh no, I meant that Stephen was his role model. Well, thanks, Claire. You are very welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with my grandsons. Oh, That was a good chat. Thank you for tidying up a little. Oh. It's nice of you. Yeah. No problem. Hey, it's all good. We, we should help out. We're living here. Finally, some fresh air. <sighs> Gotta get those shed keys from Steven first. In a minute. I want to see if I can go and look at the bathroom stuff now. <sighs> it's so weird to be back here again. Claire and Steven are kind of weird sometimes, but they do care about us. I'm glad they're spoiling Daniel. Wish I could. Dad never really got along with them, though. I barely know them. <laughs> Family, right? <laughs> We're safe. That's all I need. This is a quiet moment, and I like that. After, you know, after Esteban's death, 
and you know the thing with the the what gas are you doing, station. Sean? Nothing, just taking a look at the house. It's pretty cool here. It's not like home, but Grandma and Grandpa are nice. Yeah, they are. We're lucky they took us in. How long are we gonna stay with them? I don't know. As long as it's safe for us. And for them, I guess. Yeah. Anything else? I'm I'm gonna pause. Three, two, speak now or forever hold your peace. One. All right. Enough <sighs> contemplation for today. Okay. Um, where are you going? You're back downstairs. Um, this is a quiet moment. And I really appreciate that after Esteban's death and, you know, the, the fucker in the woods and We stopped Daniel... our training session since we got here, so it sucks. Hell, that, that may be why he's getting better, because you're allowing him to take a break. But as I was saying, yeah, Daniel finding out the truth and trashing the, the hotel room and then Mushroom's death. I really appreciate that they are giving us a quiet moment where... You know, Sean and Daniel can just be kids. I really like that. Oh, gee. Don't know why crooked frames stress me out like this. And you said that Claire was a neat freak. Buddy. But I, I think you are really similar to your uh, I better catch up with Steven and get those keys. <laughs> Daniel's going nuts in here. In a minute. Yeah, let, let me look at the stuff. Oh, man. How did we survive for weeks out there with no hot water? I used to hate brushing my teeth. <laughs> Just like Daniel. Now I can't get enough toothpaste. Mm, dental hygiene is a gift that lasts a lifetime. Saw some teeth in there a few nights ago. I wonder if it's Claire's or Steven's. It could be either. Wow. They sure did stock us up on clothes for the winter. Okay, I'm I'm pretty sure that laundry was one of our tasks. Um, maybe we'll be able to do that later. I I really do want to help out around the house. They've been so kind, taking us in. So I I would like to help them out. Ooh. I can't believe Steven spent his whole life building this. He's... a real artist. There you go. I thought you were going to say lame, and I was going to say he's eccentric. Leave the old man alone. Let him be eccentric. Um, so I did notice... Train, so... Let's see. Hey! What's up? Oh, oh, so you actually showed up one time. The train is about to leave the station. <laughs> I'm new to the job, but okay. I'm ready, Chief. Now, I could be a real superhero. Save the train from disaster. Okay, yeah, you're gonna come out through that. I remember playing this when I came here years ago. Man, things were so different back then. Yeah, a wee bit faster. Let's, let's do that. This model is so amazing. <laughs> it's crazy. It's refilling. Okay. Here's the thing, I can't see where that one, etc. Okay, so it's going through the mountain. Um, 
is I'm not entirely sure. Apparently it's going to hmm. Sounds Hello? like something's stuck in that tunnel. Okay. Let's go. Can we go faster? Just a wee bit. <sighs> this toy train is kind of soothing, actually. Come on, help. Oh, no, no, that wasn't what I wanted to do. No. Excuse me. I wonder if okay, Steven has ever seen a flying train. And um, is... I can see there's something on there, but I... Clearly there's something in that tunnel. Aha! Ooh. There actually was something stuck in there. Okay, hey, nice! Beaver Creek, oh, that's cute. That's cute, I. Yeah, we're, we're good for that. Yeah, I, th I think that's everything. Okay, let's, let's just have an explore of the dining room. And then I'll be good to check in on Steven. <sighs> What's even the point of having so much crockery? You could have a load of guess. You never know. This is fun every once in a while, but it gets old every other night. Mm. See you tonight, buddy. Claire can drop pretty damn good. Yes, yeah, she can. Guess it runs in the family. Yeah, oh. Nice. That's lovely. That's really lovely. I don't know when Daniel will be able to go back to his school. Yeah, which is why it's so important that he keep up with that. I get why they love their town so much. It's kind of cute. Hello. We spent the whole week locked up in the house. Will things ever go back to normal? No. No, they will not, because you're on the run from the police. As always with Claire, I can't really tell if this is cute or bossy. Dear husband, if you do laundry, please follow these simple rules. Do not mix whites and colors, ever. Use only one cup of detergent, a uh, red box for each load. If you wash my clothes, use the delicate cycle so you don't ruin any more of my clothes. Love, wife. He's, he's ruined so much of her shit. You can tell he's ruined so many of her clothes and she's just like, right, I'm done. I'm done. Let's, let's turn that off. And what's through here? Ooh, pantry. Mm. Okay, nice. Very tasty. Okay, get that. I'm pretty sure that's everything. Stephen? Mm. Hello. I think I need a handy assistant. Can you hand me the glue in the cupboard behind me? Sure. Hold on. Whoa! Careful. Sorry, I've I forgot. That thing isn't too stable. Let me just. Uh, okay. Sorry. My fault. Your grandmother keeps telling me, but uh, I'm a lazy old man. Hey, uh, can you close the door? I want to talk for a second. Oh. Uh, it's the power cable, of course. It happens all the time. The 
So, listen, I've uh, noticed things with Daniel. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? Oh. Oh, I... Here's the thing, he might be talking about something completely different. You know, Sean might say, like, oh, yeah, he has magical powers. And Steven says, oh, no, I meant he has ADHD. Like. Out of the two, I think, I think Sean prefers Steven because he's more chill. Although, ironically, I think he has a lot more personality traits in common with Claire. Um. If we hide the secret, he might think he's going senile. I said before about, you know, trying to create those familial bonds. They haven't seen each other in so long, so because of that, we need to be honest. We need to be honest and open. And I... I reckon, Sean, he's been dealing with this all on his own. He's probably really jealous that his little brother can move shit with his mind. He doesn't understand how it happened. And I do think he trusts Stephen. I think he likes and trusts Stephen. So I'm... I'm inclined to tell the truth. Yeah. I do. But uh, how the heck is that possible? I mean, he can... Well, you know more than me. Uh, not really. It started in Seattle after... Everything happened. I wish I could explain, but that's how it is now. And we have to live with it. I, I really don't know what to think. He needs a doctor. Or something. Then I'd probably never see him again. Yeah, I get it. He needs you. More than anything else. And by the way, let's keep this between us. Claire has a lot of strong beliefs. She wouldn't understand. She adores Daniel, and just wants both of you to be safe and happy. What I'm trying to say is, uh, maybe you should stay here with us. I know you boys plan to run to Mexico, but... I have so many thoughts and feelings. Um, they need a lawyer. <laughs> Daniel doesn't need a doctor. He needs a lawyer. They both do. Oh. Also, that line about how Claire wouldn't understand because she has a lot of strong beliefs. I'm like, she wouldn't burn Daniel at the stake for being a witch, would she? Damn. Um... This place is nice. It's comfy. And they are with family who do love them. I think he'd probably be tempted. Thanks. Maybe we could, but... <sighs> Why not? I know, being out here in the sticks with us old farts isn't exciting, but... This is your home now. It's cool. Kind of different, but... I just don't want you to get into trouble because of us. It's dangerous to be on the road. Do you think your father would have wanted this for his kids? Here's, 
he didn't know him. But this isn't coming from a place of like, oh, w- would your father have wanted this? It's coming from a place of, do you think your father would have wanted this? It's not from a place of anger. It's from a place of concern. He's not saying that to throw it in Sean's face. He's saying like that to be like, hey, just just stop and think about your actions. Please think about your safety. Of course not. But everything's different now. I know. I know. Well, just think about it. But don't torture yourself. I will. Hey, uh, Claire said you had the keys for the tool shed? Oh, uh, sure. Here. You guys enjoy the sun. And be careful with that shed. It's probably a mess inside. Thanks. It's good to see you in my lair. You know, you were afraid to come in here as a kid. Really? Why? No idea. But you're a big boy now. You can take a look around. I won't eat you. Cool. (laughs) Um. They might put their foot in their mouths from time to time, but again, I don't think it comes from a place of maliciousness. I think they just care. I think they want them to be safe, and this is such an awful situation that they don't really know what to say. Unscrew this. Man, who did this? Oh, it was our neighbor's son, Chris. Yeah, I I helped him and his dad build that treehouse. Why are you holding a fire sword? I'm, I'm not sure. You know, that kid sure has an imagination. (laughs) <laughs> hey, you you are in the Captain Spirit Cannon. You're some kind of fire wizard. Nice. Wow. Is that you? Oh, yeah, that was taken when I retired. The mayor came mm. to congratulate me himself. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, really great day. Mm. Ah, I wish you'd been here. Mm. Yeah, I I think he must have been a firefighter. Okay, looks good. And anything else? I want to look at everything. Ooh, disco ball. <laughs> How come you have a disco ball? Are you like throwing parties and stuff? <laughs> no, this is a, a souvenir. You know, I actually met your grandma during a disco night. Believe it or not, Claire told me you guys had been married for like 40 years, so it kind of makes sense. Yeah, that sure was a long time ago, but uh, we stuck together, you know, through thick and thin. That's cool. Well, call me old-fashioned, but uh, I think that's how marriage should be. In in sickness and in health, (laughs) through the good times and bad, however... I, I respect mm. that. However, if it is a case of, like, we hate each other, mm. we absolutely thoroughly despise each other, we're both miserable, then you you shouldn't yeah, suffer through room. that just because you have a legal Ooh, contract yeah. saying that, hey, you two should be together. Ah. Hello there. Oh, God. You found this. I, uh, I just forgot to, uh... It's okay. It's been a while since I've seen her face. Uh, yeah. I like taking a look at it from time to time. Doesn't it hurt? Yeah, it does. But she's still my daughter, you know? I can't approve what she's done, but I, I, I think I understand. Good. I don't. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry, Jean. Please don't, 
Uh, please don't say anything to Claire about this, okay? Don't worry. I won't. Yeah, he's he's the sentimental one. Claire's the authoritarian. She's the one who's taken everything down and said, nope, she she never existed. She never existed here, but he's he's keeping secrets because he doesn't want to let his daughter go ultimately. Stephen sure takes his hobby. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, well, I'm sorry, Sean. I know you guys miss your games and your websites, uh, but trust me, a, a break from all this can only do you good, you know, and it's, it's safer that way. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, because the police will be tracking that shit. They'll be all over that. Yeah. Oh, there you are, Sean. Got the key? Hey. <laughs> I have to go out and run some errands. Can you do me a big favor? Do you know how to work a washing machine? <sighs> Since I was about eight. Of course. Can you throw in yours and your brother's clothes after the next load? They're in the bathroom basket. Totally, yeah. Um, no problem. Thanks so much. Feel free to keep on tidying your stuff, too. It's good for the health to keep the house clean. Definitely. Daniel can help. Ah. And remember, for your own safety, no phone and no internet. I know, I know, boring rules. Don't worry, Claire. Hey, Daniel! There's work for you! Uh, no. I'm busy. D busy my ass! Come over here! <laughs> you gotta find me first! <sighs> Jeez. Okay. Okay, I guess we're playing a game of hide and seek. In the next one, can we find him? Can we persuade Daniel to do his chores? Because I, I don't want to do everything by myself. Oh well, that'll have to wait until the next episode. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode.